Bottoms up, Prince Charles! The Prince of Wales and his wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, had some fun on their latest royal engagement on Wednesday. The pair are currently on their annual three-day visit to Devon and Cornwall and got a refreshing pint of beer at a local lunch club. Prince Charles even cheerfully raised a glass before taking a sip. Normally, drinking on the job isn't allowed, but when you're a prince, anything goes. Plus, the royals are known to try local drinks while on tour. And the family is actually in the beer business. Earlier this year, Queen Elizabeth approved the sale of beer made with plants grown on her Sandringham estate in Norfolk. The new brew is sold at the Sandringham gift shop for around $5 a bottle, and it comes in not just one, but two flavors a traditional English bitter brew, and a golden IPA. And this isn't the first time the Queen has been responsible for a tasty beverage. Sandringham already sells its own celebration gin at its gift shop, which is made in a distillery on the estate. The new beer sounds like the perfect drink for the Queen to raise a toast to her late husband, Prince Philip, who was known to be an ale lover. Royal expert Charlie Langston explained to Access Hollywood how the Queen and other members of the royal family were affected by his passing. This will absolutely be a pivotal moment for the royal family insofar as moving past all of the tension and the upset that occurred in the wake of Mexit and specifically in the wake of all of the allegations that were made during the Oprah interview. We already knew that Prince Harry was planning to return to the UK for the unveiling of a statue that has been created in honor of his mother, Diana. And sources had told us that he and William had prepared fully to put their differences aside in order to prioritize the importance of that moment and to prioritize the legacy of their mother. This is an even more important moment, I think, right now, because Harry will not only want to set aside his differences in order to process his own grief, he will also want to do so because he wants to be there for his grandmother. No matter what has happened in the past, no, no, no matter what this family has been through, the most important thing right now is for them to come together as a family to mourn the loss of an incredibly important patriarch. Prince Philip was a very stoic member of the royal family. He was at times a controversial member of the royal family. But first and foremost, he was a wonderfully dedicated husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and that is how Harry and his relatives will be mourning him.